Hello friends and welcome to 100 Days of Believing Bigger. If it's your first time here, my name is Christina and I am so glad that you are with us today. Today is day 81 of digging through all 100 days of 100 Days of Believing Bigger. If you're just joining us for the first time, don't worry about it. I have put all of these videos in a playlist called 100 Days of Believing Bigger. So if you go to our page, you can just click on the playlist tab and you will find it there. Well, today we are going to be talking about embracing your relevance. And, you know, as I was putting on these lovely earrings today, I want to tell you a little bit about them. My daughter, Jaylee, received money for her 12th birthday and it was maybe around a hundred dollars altogether from everybody. And um, I was so touched and honored because she bought mom a Dolly Parton t-shirt because we're big Dolly fans around here. And she bought me these earrings. She just thought that they looked so much like me and my style. And then she plays basketball, so she bought me like a basketball mom bracelet. And I was so touched. Altogether, she spent over half of her money on me, buying me these gifts. And I'll tell you what it did. It made me feel relevant to her. It made me feel like she loves me. Maybe a portion as much as I love her. It made me feel like she pays attention to the things that matter to me and that I enjoy and that I like. And it was just really precious to me. And I will always, always treasure that memory and how very excited she was to give me these gifts that she knew were perfectly in line with who I am and what I love. And that kind of reminds me of what we're talking about today. That kind of brings me to what we are talking about today. There are times when we do not feel relevant to God. We don't feel like he hears us. He sees our desires, our needs, and uh, maybe just like he doesn't know us all that well, but he does. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start out by looking at our scripture of the day. Isaiah 49, 15 and 16. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. That is an absolutely beautiful verse. And whether you have been following God for your entire life or maybe you're a baby in Christ, you are a new believer. There are times when you feel like you are outside of God's radar. Maybe you haven't ever felt like God has completely abandoned you, but maybe you feel like he's not seeing you. So here's what Marshawn has to say about that today. Seasons of silence or seasons where we've been negligent in pursuing his presence can make us feel like we are forgotten. Do you see where she put the focus there? Because God really never forgets us. When we are feeling like that, if we examine our own behaviors, maybe we'll see that we have been negligent in our time with God. She says, it is impossible. The passage above reminds us that we are etched into the very fiber of who God is. At the end of the verse that we just looked at, it says, your walls are ever before me. That's referring to your work, your desires, your affairs, and everything that has to do with you. It's what your life is building. God is the architect. Your face and the essence of who you are matter so much to God that he engraved you in his hands. I was trying to explain recently to my daughter how much I love and care for her, how basically every decision I make is based around her well-being. What kind of work I do, where I live, what kind of vehicle I drive, the things that I buy, the food that I buy, the extra money I spend, the TV that we watch, everything is based around what is good for her. That is constantly 
on my mind as a mother. Can you imagine how much more as our Heavenly Father, our perfect creator, the perfect love, how much more the same applies to him? Marshawn says, he doesn't go a moment without thinking of you, providing for you, and guarding and guiding you. Remember, a tattoo is permanent. It's also a choice. It's something carefully considered, an image you desire to have with you for a lifetime. That's how much God loves you and so much more. He chose you. Your life is forever in God's hands. And with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the question of the day. I'm sorry that the screen is um, shaking a little bit. I have the tripod leaning up against the table that I've hit a couple times. So I do apologize for that. Our question of the day is, in what ways have you felt forgotten by God? How does it feel to know that God has you engraved in his hand? When I think about a subject like this, what often comes to mind for me is one of the hardest times that I went through, which was a 13 year season of infertility. And you better believe that during 13 years of infertility, I felt forgotten, overlooked, neglected, unworthy, every adjective that you could think about that goes along with those i felt those at one time or another but now that that season of life has passed and god has blessed me with a beautiful child and answered prayer i can look back and i can see where i was so wrong he was working things out the whole time and 13 years on earth time it's painful but i know that in the heavenly realm it's like the blink of an eye. He worked so many pieces of the puzzle, putting them together slowly, sending me to a certain job, connecting me with new friends, doing different things like that, that I can see where all the pieces were falling into place to answer that daily prayer of 13 years, to bless me, to be a mother, and to bless me with a child. But during that time, man, sometimes I felt forgotten by God. And maybe you can relate to that. If there is something that is making you feel forgotten by God and you just want me to align with you and pray with you about that, please let me know in the comment section below. You can write unspoken or you can share what's on your heart. But please know that just like in Isaiah 49 verses 15 and 16, God has you written on the palm of his hand. With that being said, let's go ahead and close in prayer today. Lord, I'm never forgotten. Everything that concerns me matters to you. May I live boldly in knowing that my future is secure with you. In Jesus name I pray, amen. Thank you again. I hope that y'all have a blessed day and we will see you back here for day 82 where we are going to be talking about living chosen. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.